he's caring more about wokeism than military excellence. He does nothing in the South China Sea. He's not putting any additional tariffs. In fact, he's trying to repeal them that Donald Trump put on steel and solar panels for imports into America. Joe Biden is doing the bidding of Xi Jinping at every single turn. So let, let me ask you just another couple questions. Go. Has Joe Biden in any way, shape or form condemned the Belt and Road Initiative or has Joe Biden admitted that the virus came from China? Uh, the Belt and Road Initiative would be covered under that curbing Chinese expansion, which I mentioned earlier. I think you're trying to you're trying to play a very semantic game right now with no, did no. he condemn this specifically so, so when he broadly language matters, general expansion. What you call semantics, I call truth. Hey, welcome back to the channel. I'm Chris. Thanks so much for joining. Today we've got a hot one with Charlie Kirk as he debates a pro-Biden activist. This is gonna be great. Let's jump in and watch along. Before we do, could you please like, subscribe, share, let us know how we're doing in the comments. Appreciate everyone's love and support. Thank you so much. Let's go. By saying that he was going to be uh, soft on China. Um, so, so far, I just wanted to list out some things that he's done against China and then get your opinion on that. So he uh, condemned the uh, Uyghur genocide right off the bat, Secretary Blinken did. Uh, and he's waging a tech war with China right now, but reevaluating our supply lines uh, of microchip production. So we're not relying on China. Uh, as of five hours ago, they've raised the idea of boycotting the Olympics in China. Uh, and he's uh, raised the idea of a conference of democracies to curb Chinese expansion, whether that be military or influential, like what they're doing in uh, neocolonialism in Africa. And this isn't something that's uh, different for Biden. He has a history of supporting genocide victims. So if you take a look at what he's done with the Bosniaks in Bosnia when he supported them in the war with the Albanians in Kosovo, I mean, he has a, a really strong history of standing with oppressed people. So do you think these criticisms now, now that you know all these things that he's doing, do you think they're sort of falling flat, at least with the China thing? Is that the whole list? No, there's more. I just wanted to pick like as many as I could in 20 minutes. Okay, yeah. Um, has he called China our enemy? Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, I think it's implied. No, he hasn't. He I said think he's, it's he's rival. I think it's implied that if he wants to stop Chinese expansion, they're an adversary of the United States. Wouldn't no, no, you he agree? said they're a rival. Has he called, uh, has he called China our enemy? I, I think that's just a semantic argument. No, it's not. He said, I refuse to call them an enemy because they're an economic rival. Let me ask you another question. Has he signed an executive order trying to close Confucius Institutes in America? Uh, the Confucius Institutes is an ongoing debate right now, so we'll have no, to No, no, it's a very there. simple debate. They're military institutions on college campuses, and Joe Biden supports them in America. Let I me ask you another question. Does he government. support tariffs on imported Chinese goods, yes or no? Uh, he supports a tech war. Tariffs? No, no, tariffs. No, tariffs. America, Answer so. the question. Uh, probably not, no. Okay, right, well, so that's evaluating. soft on China. When Blinken went up to Alaska to meet with China, yes. did he even respond when China made a fool of our country and said we're a bunch of racist bigots, according to our own language? Did he respond to that? Yes, they did. How? Well, they replied to it. They By admitting it China. and basically saying to China, you know what, you're right, we have a lot of problems to correct. But we always correct them. For example, the civil rights. I mean, look at look how far we came from the Civil War. Are, and, are you and comparing rights. what's happening right now to Jim Crow of the 1960s? No, I'm saying we oh, yeah. have a dark history, but we've come far no, from no, it. I, I, I agree with that. So let me just, be, let me just ask another couple questions, yeah. because has Joe Biden supported military movements in the South China Sea or stood with the people of Taiwan as the Chinese Communist Party has threatened Taiwan to obliterate them off the face yes. of the earth. No, they haven't. Yes, so, no, they he, haven't. He no, has so opposed. Taiwan has been singled out for destruction mm -hmm. and Joe Biden has done nothing to stand with the people of Taiwan. Let me ask you another question. I, I has jo let me ask you a question. Has Joe Biden explained the now revealed emails that show that he's probably a 10% holder in a Chinese Communist Party company, thanks to Tony Bobulinski. Has Joe Biden explained that? If they want to go to court for that, they can. If the no, 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 I'm asking a very, has Joe Biden he explained have he that he's have probably a minority partner in a Chinese Communist he Party He doesn't have company. to explain it until he's formally accused of it in a court of law. I think unsubstantiated claims shouldn't be entertained, wouldn't well, No, no, agree? it's substantiated. It's a laptop that was owned by his son. Well, why don't they take it to court? And to, well, they, they are. And so I let mean, me ask you, let me ask you another question though. So. You this guy is a complete tool. First of all, why don't they take it to court? Why? Because he's the sitting president, you moron. The only way that you take a sitting president to court is via an impeachment process, which, oh, by the way, I believe somebody has filed articles of impeachment, at least for debate, in the House. That's the only way it gets done, is you have to impeach a sitting president. You can't take him to court. You can't indict a sitting president until you impeach him first. And Secondly, okay, I got to ask, what's up with the mask? I mean, please, you know, 
For somebody who supposedly has all the facts, do you not realize that every single clinical study, every single piece of clinical data says that that mask is utterly useless? It just makes you look like a moron. Okay, let's keep going. I'm sorry. <laughs> this guy's just under my skin already because he's so dumb. Your basic premise is Joe Biden's totally tough on China, everything. Yeah, that's basically your contention. No, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that. I'm saying the premise was that he's going to be extremely soft. But no, he's as beyond we can soft. See, he's owned by China. He's not just soft on see. China. He's a subsidiary of the Chinese Communist Party. <laughs> he's, he's an employee of the Chinese Communist Party. Exactly. Can you, so everything Xi Jinping wants, we are doing. Can I he is pandering question? to racial division in our country. He's emasculating our military. He's caring more about wokeism than military excellence. He does mm. nothing in the South China Sea. He's not putting any additional tariffs. In fact, he's trying to repeal them that Donald Trump put on steel and solar panels for imports into America. Joe Biden is doing the bidding of Xi Jinping at every single turn. So let, let me ask you just another couple questions. Has Joe Biden in any way, shape or form condemned the Belt and Road Initiative or has Joe Biden admitted that the virus came from China? Uh, the Belt and Road Initiative would be covered under that curbing Chinese expansion, which I mentioned earlier. I think you're trying to you're trying to play a very semantic game right now with no, did no. he condemn this specifically so, so when he language broadly matters. general expansion? What you call semantics, I call truth, because language is the way that we communicate values with one another. So let me ask you this question. Has Joe Biden admitted that the Chinese coronavirus came from the Wuhan Institute of Virology? If evidence shows that, he will admit No, has it. Joe Biden even mentioned the fact that this virus came? You're wearing a mask up to your eyeballs. Yeah. Is that because of China or not? Well, I think it did come from China, but where it came from originally in no, China, so whether it was natural or man-made. Let me ask you a question. What has Joe Biden done to hold China accountable for the greatest epidemiological Pearl Harbor in American history? We'll have to see. It's only like two okay, months we'll have to the presidency. See. So well, let me get this straight. China yep. invokes an epidemiological Pearl Harbor, yep. and we'll have to see. I have to. I, I have a question for you, though. Over that, Trump, uh, in return, uh, in the in the Taiwan, two questions. Taiwan. Uh, We're talking Trump, about the virus. I would like your. Yeah, I know. The virus is really important. Yeah. It right. Is. Obviously, you take it seriously. Yeah. And so, is China to blame? I think China is to blame. Yeah. Why? Why can't Joe Biden say that? Because it's a it's a very diplomatic issue. He has to wait until the evidence is there. It's freaking. It's make a, a diplomatic a, issue. Yeah. Could you imagine after Pearl Harbor, Franklin Franklin Delano Roosevelt? You know. It's a diplomatic issue that Pearl Harbor was bombed. I think Could, it was clear that the Japanese intentionally attacked Pearl Harbor, but whether the Chinese intentionally, which I believe they did, by the way, I oh, believe they did. Okay. But until there's evidence to support that, that can be globally spread, I think it's irresponsible of Biden to make a statement on it. I think he's waiting for the facts to get out. Okay. Yeah. Joe Biden is not waiting for the facts to get out. Joe Biden buries himself, runs so far away from the Chinese virus issue, he will never bring it up. Because Charlie Kirk is correct, he is in the bag for China. He's owned, lock, stock, and barrel. The evidence is replete. All the money he has taken from China and Chinese government officials and the fact that he's an equity holder in a Chinese Communist Party company. Wow, this guy is so deluded. It's amazing. Way to go, Charlie. That's stunning. Um, so you wanted to make a point about Taiwan. Yeah, so you said, has he condemned the Chinese aggression against Taiwan? And yes, in the town hall, he mentioned that he condemns the Chinese trying to violate the uh, one China or the two China policy uh, with China and Taiwan. He condemned it in the town hall. And then I also wanted to ask you one follow up question with Trump. Yeah. Trump, in an Axios report, uh, reportedly, uh, allegedly, uh, gave the Chinese a green light for their actions in Hong Kong and the Uyghur genocide in exchange for better leverage in his trade deal, which ultimately flopped, I believe. Okay. What do you think about that? It's not true. Well, I mean... Well, first of all, I said allegedly and reportedly. Yeah. And Donald Trump was more tough on China than any other president in American history. And he was unafraid true. to call it the China virus. Joe Biden has always been very close to China. He said that, quote, China's rise is a good thing for America. Can you explain? I'm curious. Take as much time as you need. If you have any problem with the president's son flying on Air Force Two with Chinese bank officials and returning on Air Force Two with $2 billion in an investment fund. Does that bother you? So 
when I just mentioned allegedly and reportedly, you denied it as being fake. It's not true. Like, I, I it's don't not true. I, I but, agree. But as guess long what? As it's, as Joe long Biden's president, so let's focus on who's yeah, in charge exactly, right now. Exactly. Right? As so as is Hunter Biden? Yeah. Like, can you explain that for me? Because I'm really interested. Yeah. So all of those things are also allegations, right? And it's kind of no, hypocritical. No, no. I, I just said facts. I didn't say that there was pay to play. I said, They're we know facts. because of flight logs, Air Force Two, Chinese bank officials go on with Hunter Biden and Joe Biden. They're not facts. They fly to China. And two days later, he returns with $2 billion. Does that bother you? But that's not a fact. If, if that what, what, is allegedly what, what, what happened. You're entitled to your own faith. opinion. He's not a fact. <laughs> He's not. Oh, my God. Your own facts. So tell me where I was wrong with that. Out of good faith. If that is allegedly true, I have a problem with that. Yes. Well, then you should but, do a lot more research, man, because that's just the tip of the iceberg of the Biden crime family. They should bring it before court. I'm sorry? They should bring it before a court of law and test it in court. No. I don't know why they're so afraid of courts. I mean, they no. lost well, They lost all of their election well, First of all, they're too. not afraid of courts. Second of all, we have a weaponized and politicized Department of Justice in our country. And, oh, by the way, Hunter Biden is under active federal criminal investigation right now. We'll see how that one works out. So I, I have another question. You call it semantics. I call it very important that he doesn't call it a rival or an enemy. You say the Confucius Institutes is something that is yet to be debated, even though Joe Biden has done nothing against it. Um, the, the bigger question I guess I have when it comes to the Chinese issue, do you think Joe Biden is better equipped to handle China than Donald Trump was? Yeah. I would love to ask another question. Living in La La Land. Did you vote for Joe Biden? Yeah, but I was a Republican for four years. Okay. I switched to Democrats no, no, don't three boo, months don't ago. No, don't boo, don't boo. No, no. You voted yeah, for Biden yeah, three yeah, times. I yeah, I know. Like a, like a typical okay. Democrat. No, that's fine. Um, why did you vote for Joe Biden? Uh, oh, this is important. We, we can, it's important. Why did you vote? Specifically for his foreign policy. Uh, foreign policy and because I believe, uh, I believe that Donald Trump was doing a lot of damage to the country. Okay. Foreign so, policy wise. So foreign policy. I'm just uh -huh. curious because I don't get to actually a foreign chance policy. to talk to Biden voters very often. Um, so it's kind of like meeting some, like, wow. Um, did, did you think Donald Trump did a good thing with the Abraham Accords, with the historic peace deal with Israel, UAE, Bahrain, and Sudan? Was that a good thing for the country? Uh, for the governments of the Gulf states and for the government of Israel, it might have been a good thing, but I don't think it solves any uh, issues with, with people in the region. Okay. Was it a good thing that Donald Trump was the first president of both of you and I lifetime to end endless wars and not declare a new war? I think in... Uh, I, I think the, the idea of an endless war is something that's pushed by more isolationist groups. I don't agree with ending endless wars. I think the United States has a duty to the world to act as the quote unquote global policeman okay. and to- He doesn't agree with ending endless wars. This guy is a complete buffoon. Is that what you want? Endless wars, forever and ever war, 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 death, destruction. Oh my gosh, this is just painful. You know, stop things like active genocides going on. So you're okay with Afghanistan just perpetually happening? No, I, guys, guys, show show some respect. He's, guys, please. Guys, come on. Don't act like college campus leftists, please. Okay, seriously. Let him an opportunity to speak. I'm letting him finish his thoughts. I'm curious. Hmm. So him, you so. think that Joe, you voted for Joe Biden for foreign policy. Yeah. So, so not starting new wars was not like a game changer. I don't, I, I mean, I come from a country, I came here as a refugee. From the Balkan Peninsula, I'm guessing. Yes, because from Bosnia, the way you described, because, yes, yes, the, because the, there was the a Boston war issue. there. And you know, it was McCain, Lieberman, Biden, and Dole that were the advocates of sending US troops to Bosnia. And if it wasn't for the US sending airstrikes to Bosnia, I wouldn't be in the United States, I'd be in a mass grave. So I don't think wars are inherently bad when they're fought against bad people. Hmm. Yeah, I, I probably agree with that. I would also, contest that what is what does victory look like in afghanistan a uh, stable democratic government okay that's where you and i are going to have clarity but not agreement tonight the role of the united states military is not to institute democratic governments across the world it's to protect the american people that's that's exactly. the mission number one I'll, i want to get some other questions let me just let me just ask one other thing though so I'm as a former air force officer i can tell you that the role of the united states military is not nation building it's to kill people and break things. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm, I'm interested. Um, did I say anything in regards to the Chinese issue that you've never heard before with Joe Biden and Donald Trump? No, I know, I know about all of the issues. I just haven't really looked into the Confucius Institute stuff yet, but uh, 
I'm, I'm okay. waiting to see more, more stuff come so up. So I, I want to thank you for coming and asking these questions. I'm going to say this, though. When you look objectively at how Hunter Biden received cash payments from Chinese state bank oligarchs, the $2 billion, Joe Biden probably owning a 10 percent of a Chinese Communist Party company based on Tony Bobulinski, former business partner's own remarks, Joe Biden saying it's a good thing when China gets stronger. If you actually cared about holding China accountable, I think a fair reading of the facts you'll realize that Joe Biden is a wholly owned subsidiary of our greatest enemy, the Chinese Communist Party. But I do want to thank you for your boldness and being here tonight. And I appreciated the conversation. Thank you. Wow. Okay. That dude. <laughs> hey, I give him kudos, man. He stood up in what in a turning point organization talk, which is clearly, you know, he's outnumbered by conservatives by a whole bunch to him. And he stood up and, and asked his questions. Now, I got to tell you that he's got his facts completely twisted around the axle. And there's some stuff he doesn't even have a clue about. Like I said, I sort of cut myself short. As a former Air Force officer and pilot, the role of the United States military is to kill people, break things, occupy territory, and destroy the enemy. The United States military does not build anything. It doesn't run around building governments. It's not what its role is at all. And that's what we've been doing for the last 30 years is being a police force, which the United States military is not. It's not a police force. You need police forces to be police forces. It is designed to protect American interests, advance American interests, and protect the American people and the American nation. Beyond that, it is ill-suited for all the crap that they've been having it do. But beyond that, this... This guy was so far in, in his own head. He's a clearly lived in an echo chamber, an echo chamber of everybody spewing the same nonsense. You know, it's Joe Biden's, it's just allegations. It's just, no, they've got so many facts against Joe Biden in terms of all of the suspicious activity reports. They, they can trace the money from foreign governments through Hunter Biden, through his brother, through other shell companies, through this myriad of labyrinth of shell companies, right into Joe Biden's pocket. And you've got two co-conspirators. You've got two people who ran the companies who have testified under oath that Joe Biden was intimately involved, that he intimately benefited. It's just, I mean, anywhere else, it's an open and shut case. But the fact of the matter is there will be no real investigations because even if the House votes to impeach, the Senate will never convict, and the Department of Justice will never take up any of this because they've been weaponized by Joe Biden for him and against his enemies. Wow. That was just <laughs> an eye-opening conversation with somebody who is clearly deluded and off the fence. I hope he gets a clue sometime. But these are the type of people we're dealing with. You'll probably never convince this guy. However, we need to enter the arena of ideas because for every one of these that you debate with, there's five or six interested third parties that are looking on. You'll never convince this fool, but you can convince one of the interested third parties who's an onlooker, who looks at that argument, that debate and says, wow, that guy was an idiot. That Charlie Kirk guy, he came off pretty smart. I need to go investigate this. That's what we need to do. Hey, we got a country to save. Thanks so much for watching this. Thanks so much for joining me. We're going to react to a lot more of these. Charlie Kirk is a savage when it comes to this stuff. And he's funny sometimes too. So we're going to do a lot more of these. Please let me know in the comments how we're doing. Like, subscribe, share. Remember that God is good and he is sovereign. It'll all be good in the end. Hey, if it's not yet good, it's not yet the end. Until I catch you next time.